I don't know who all remember the the Pepsi scandal with Kenner, Kyle's name, uh, Kenner Jenner or whatever, I, Kendall Jenner. And anyway, the Pepsi commercial shows her walking up, giving the police a Pepsi. And all the things ceased with the Black Lives Matter and the cops. And everybody was humbled because they had a Pepsi. Now, the message was peace between everybody. And Pepsi was interjecting its way into it. And clearly that they were wrong with making an ad like this with such a serious matter. And it should have been, I don't know how it got greenlit. People really pushed the peace agenda because the people who were making the decision, you know, they all obviously didn't talk to anybody of urban, <laughs> in the urban community. Or, you know, they're thinking, what would be a nice, peaceful ad to put with Harmony? Coca-Cola is very good at doing these Harmony ads. So Pepsi was like, we need that touch. We need that. We need that energy. Now, here's when things get out of control. Yes, the ad was bad. But the liberal media, the liberal media, my goodness, my goodness, my goodness. They looked at this as a chance to pounce. They made this ad out to be so egregious to make everybody bad. You should be mad using Dr. Martin Luther King's picture. They even got Dr. Martin Luther King's daughter involved to think all my father needed was a Pepsi. And it would have been okay. Pepsi lost millions because of this. And what happened? Movements and like Black Lives Matters and all of these different groups. This is how they get their money. People are donating now. Pepsi's donating money to this cause, that cause, this cause, that cause. So it was a necessary move to go this route. Because in the end, they got the spotlight. They got to shame anybody they wanted to shame. And they go and get the people that, you know, to pass the agenda around. And I was invited to be a person to come in and push this agenda envelope forward. Because at the time, I'm quite sure probably academics got hit up. I got hit up. Uh, a lot of people, you know, they ain't going to be like, hey, I'm a celebrity from blah, 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 blah. They went to anybody that was the top people on YouTube or whatever and all the social media things to say, yo, you need to do this. Yo, why don't you do this and blah, 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 blah. So now I'm getting an email from Joe Blow Smo about, yes, we liked your platform and blah, blah, blah. And at this time, I was highly taught, taught it, you know, on the level of entertainment. Like, I'm like DJ Academics, Vlad, me. That's how I was on YouTube. Seriously. That's how they, no matter who, what the views were for this type of subject, they wanted to hear what I had to say. So I'm like, well, here's the situation. And that I didn't like. From the email, they're pushing the agenda of tone deaf. So when I see that, I'm like, tone deaf? Where, where did they get that from? Tone deaf? Well, I guess it's I, I guess you could say it's tone deaf, but you know. So, next thing you know, I see the interview on the news, and they're interviewing some politician, blah, 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 and the word comes out of his mouth is, this is really tone deaf. I'm like, tone deaf? Okay, there it is. Um, yeah, I just saw it, read that in the email. Then we get another channel that's talking about the incident. And this tone deaf, tone deaf, there it is again. Then Charlemagne the God's talking about it. And when he spoke on it, I think this is tone deaf. 
tone deaf again. I'm like, wow, is everybody going to use the same word, tone deaf? What's happening here? So slowly, I begin to realize that this isn't accidental. They have all received the same email I have received, which pushes the agenda of tone deaf. And so I put out my video stating that, and my video was removed and taken down. Your, your video is considered to be harmful and blah, 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 blah. After reviewing this video, we cannot post. Even though that my video and everybody else's video, so I said, you know what, forget it. I don't need this video. Because <laughs> I was not following, I guess, the protocol and what they were going to do and pushing my video forward. So instead of pushing my video forward, I met with a lot of backlash about a lot of we can't monetize this, oh, we can't monetize that. I was like, dude, I really don't care. I didn't need this video. But now I don't need you in my you know what <laughs> over this video. Just over because I don't want to follow the agenda. You guys are already set. You got enough people to do that. You know, people like Charlemagne, they'll jump at that opportunity. Let them do it. I'm not begging for fame. I'm not, don't really want it. I'm cool doing what I'm doing. Leave me alone. So I didn't need the Pepsi commercial. <laughs> I didn't need to make a video on that subject. I made one. Y'all didn't like it. So fine. That's what it was. Now... The situation and pendulum always switch because now that it doesn't matter anymore, this video will go up and it'll stay. So that just shows you how much people don't care anymore after a couple of days. After a couple of days, they had their little media run. It's done. Pepsi lost millions, millions because of this ad. They were about to be sued even by the actress uh, Kendall Jenner because it ruined her brand because of what happened. They had to fire one of the guys who was involved with the production of that video. You know, and it's sad, you know, they went in not having a uh, a bad, you know, bad eels incorporated when they went to making this video. They just didn't understand the plight and the seriousness of it. So it was no malice intended, but you know, malice happened and they took, you know, they took responsibility for it. Pepsi did. And they pulled the ad down, which cost them more money because now they got to replace it with a whole nother ad for those spots because they don't want to lose anything. So it was a big win for Coke, big win for the liberals and big win for anybody who supported that. If you Google tone deaf, you might see the Pepsi commercial pop up. That's how much that those that two word <laughs> phrase manipulated the media. So with that being said, I'm out.